Hey, this is Ryan from Extreme Tech. Today we're going to take a look at iOS 7 Siri and how that stacks up against Google Voice Search on Android 4.3. So what I have here is an iPad Mini and a Nexus 7, both fully updated, both on the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, because Apple changed the way Siri works and actually, uh, actually is using a little bit of Bing data instead of Google data, we're going to see how they compare. So let's just throw some words at them and see what happens. Send an email to Guy Incognito. Subject, hi. Body, how are you doing? Question mark. Okay, here's your email message to Guy Incognito. Okay. Are you ready to send it? No. Okay, I won't send it. Okay, so Siri is obviously interested in keeping you from touching the screen. It wants to do everything by voice, which is nice. That's convenient. On Android, you just get this card, and you have to hit the button to send it. So not as convenient, but they both got there fast. It's just a difference in implementation. All right, let's try this. Play Amsterdam by Guster. Playing Amsterdam. Okay, and Google has to wait through this bar here so you can cancel it if it looks like it's wrong. They were both right. Uh, even with, uh, without the wait, it took maybe just a little bit longer for, uh, for Google to get there. Now, okay, let's try. I'm interested uh, to see if this will work. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Okay, so that's something that Apple's added. You can do that in Siri now. You can control settings with your voice. You still can't do that in Android. It says this action is not supported. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they haven't rolled that out since they can put new things in the Google search app through uh, Google Play. All right, well, let's, uh, let's move on to some Internet stuff and see how they do pulling up some data. How many moons are there in the solar system? According to you, Let me check today, on that. To get a definite answer to how many moons are in the solar okay, system, check it out. we will have to narrow out. Okay, so Google found the information in a web page and started reading it to us. Um, looks like Apple... It pulled something from Wolfram Alpha. I don't think exactly what we were looking for. It's a search for planetary moons. Maybe if you follow the link, it might, it might have more. Okay, let's try something else. How many milliliters are there in 400 gallons? 400 U.S. gallons Okay, so uh, they both got it. Google was a little bit faster because it had this in the knowledge graph. It's got a little calculator and everything. Uh, Siri had to reach out to Wolfram Alpha. It got a little bit of uh, extra data there, but it took a little bit longer. and It's not really presented in perhaps as, as nice of a way. All right, let's try. Is it going to rain on Sunday? It doesn't no, look like it's going to rain. Expected on Sunday in St. Paul. The forecast is 70 degrees and clear. Okay. Not surprising. They both got that. Um, Andrew's interface is maybe a little bit better for this, though. Tell me about sharks. Okay. Here is I found this. About sharks. Okay, so this is, a, I believe, new in Siri as well. It has Wikipedia integration. If you ask a, a general knowledge question like that, it pulls that data, and that's actually where Google is populating this uh this card from, I think, the same source. So uh, Apple has maybe gotten a little bit better in that respect with this update. Okay, let's try something a little bit different. What song is this? You're listening to Amsterdam by Guster. Okay, so uh, what happened when I did that is uh, Siri thought that I was talking about the song that I had just played, even though it wasn't playing, um, and started playing it. And I, I thought it was going to mess up the uh, the Android side here, but um, no, it, it recognized the song that I was playing from my phone uh, with no problem. So that's kind of cool. Um, that would be nice maybe for Apple to do, what with the iTunes radio integration in iOS 7. Uh, but still, uh, it's a neat feature on Android. Okay, let's try. I need directions to the science museum. Getting Which science museum? Tap the one you want. Okay. Okay, 
Uh, so Android figured that out right away, and it took me right into the to navigation because I couldn't hit the X in time. Uh, Siri didn't quite get the address right. It's instead of listing the main uh, science museum, it, it's listing different buildings at it. But it understood. Uh, you know, you get there eventually, but faster on Android. All right, let's try one more. Uh, just, you know, general internet search, and we'll see how this works. Who was the third man on the moon? Sorry, I don't know where that is. Walk on moon dies in motorcycle accident. Charles P. Pete Conrad, Captain, USN. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, so Siri did not understand what I was saying. Um, Google found the information on a web page and started to read it. Um, that seems to be something that it's, it's doing these days. It's parsing web pages more closely. Um, but overall, there are a lot of good improvements in Siri. Um, it has better, uh, better uh, Wikipedia integration and seems to be able to do all the settings toggles. It's very good at conversational stuff. If you don't want to touch your device, that seems to be Siri's bread and butter. Um, but Google, I feel like, is still better at natural language. So that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching.